Hi guys, welcome to the Seven Man Show. Me, your host Sean. Today we're going to be talking about Tesla and uh, a spec that no one seems to be talking about, and we'll see if, how we're doing for time from there. Anyway, let's get into it. Tesla, my Tesla. Oh, I got such criticism for selling. Yeah. And it's nearing the point to buy back in. I never sell my long term stake. For those of you who are asking why, if I believe in it, I sell my long I'm selling it. I never sell my long term stake. Same with my Apple. I've got questions about my Apple shares. I never sell my long term stake. I only sell my trading stake. Now. If this hits 434, I believe it will really drop drastically and then present a buying opportunity. If not, I think they will beat on earnings by about 70 cents a share. I think this is the first quarter where analysts have been a bit closer to the earnings per share. But that doesn't mean it's going to go up post earnings. We all know what it's like. But long term, I just think this is a company you've got to own. Now, we have quite a bit to get through with the next bag. And and don't forget to hit that lovely like button. Almost as lovely as me. Helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Become part of the Saving Money Show family. We give each other hints and tips and updates about uh, stocks and shares. We uh, talk about on the show. As well as that, you can... Ask me to look into any share you want and I don't charge a Discord fee or ask for a Patreon. All I do ask is for you to comment in the box below and hit the like button. Uh, even if you disagree with me, especially if you disagree with me, I like a debate. And if I do something wrong, I want you to call me on it so I can improve the channel. And why not check out the links in the description below? There's lots of others. I've used each one of them myself. I wouldn't give you links if I haven't checked them out myself. Uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform which should trade your stocks and shares, you know you can get a free share worth up to £200 for signing up and depositing a small amount. A free trade only requires a £1 deposit. The others require £100 or dollars, depending on which one you go for. Stake has over 3,500 US stocks on their books, which is the biggest one outside of the US. Whereas Trading212 is one of the best and easiest platforms to use. But as I said, I use all three. Anyway, on with the show. It's Live Oak Acquisition Core. They are merging with Danima Scientific. This is the SEC filing. Now, you can stop this at any time and look for it. I will try and link it down below. But you know, I'm just an idiot on the internet. What do I know? Anyway. Uh, we can look into the team behind them and which is always important the reason I sold out my IPOC is because Clover Health team had a bit of a shady past and I'm surprised Shemak didn't check that out 
still the team seem fine but I will need I will of course do a deeper dive into the backgrounds if I decide to go into them but the oh what's happening there I've drawn it's always the same isn't it when you want to draw you don't and when you do Typical. Anyway, we go into now. They're a next generation bioplastics company. They have contracts with a lot of blue chip companies, and they are meant to be signing a new contract with Nestle soon, and have a lot more in the pipeline. They are EBITDA cash positive. And uh, they're meant to be, be net income growing year on year for, since 2020. They have 100% biodegradable, renewable and sustainable plastic using canola oil as a primary feedstock. And they have over 150 patents in 20, over 20 countries. No, they don't leave behind harmful microplastics and well this is kind of one of the ways to go one of the future we are all getting environmentally conscious we all look at how we was pre-rona to how we are post-rona we can look at how Greta Thunberg Thunberg, uh divided the world. Our views divided the world. Who would have said before the Rona that Donald Trump would have been uh, actually visiting EV plants or promoting them? Yeah, they would have thought you'd been smoking something been smoking the canola oil now this i like to get a company that is either the best in its field or the second best in its field because there's nothing wrong in owning the two best companies in the field that's why i like upwork and fiverr and I suggest you go to their site and check them out. You know, they and you got to think why now? Well, specs are hot, although they've dipped off recently. Uh, and I'll talk about that later. You've got, as I said, environmental stocks are hot. EV stocks have been languishing for years even decades tesla's was going sideways for years and then all of a sudden it's, it's just jumped up same with neo uh solar stocks they were doing nothing for years for decades and now all of a sudden they're jumping up so it's the perfect time for them and they uh, I really do think that this is a good time for them and I I uh, have a little video at the end this is an investor presentation and funnily enough I've seen microplastics and I've seen the breakdown and what it does and I try to I try to invest in company. The way I see it is, I used to invest in charities, and then I saw how much people at the top were earning from charities. While well, the little old lady in the shop was volunteering, and I thought to myself, "Well, why is he asking me for 
portion of my salary which I'm working hard for while they're earning hundreds of thousands per year driving a Bentley you know no offense to the charities people on the ground floor do good work but the thing is what I find is I'm better off putting my donation in the companies like this they're coming out with thing. you know these companies they find it hard to get funds this one has been promised from institutions over 200 million dollars in funds when uh, it emerges as well look at some of these blue chip companies coca-cola mcdonald's nestle uh, which i spoke about already they're doing another target walgreens kroger walmart you know cvs pepsico oh it's, it's like my portfolio on now except for mcdonald's and yeah it's and com competitors are apparently years behind in the technology now i myself pre-rona went and got rid of 90 percent of plastics in our household we now have bamboo toothbrushes which is the same as brushing with a plastic one we have bamboo lunch boxes and i tell you the truth they're more durable than a uh, plastic lunch box and uh, we have the reusable bags because the plastic bags keep breaking. Yeah. Uh, I think if you get a chance, read through this. It is very good. And you'll see here. That. That. 2.1. Activities. Uh, am I interested in this one? Yes. Will I be buying some? Yes. Will I be buying at this level? No, because it, when they've announced it, it ran up. Uh, it ran up ten percent. It's over eleven dollars now for the common stock. I uh, will wait for a pullback. If it, uh, why do I think there'll be a pullback? Mainly, no one's talking about it. There's no hype. I would love there to be hype on this stock. This is the kind of stock I would love there to be hype, but there's no hype on it. And usually, after the initial run up, there will be a pullback. And you can see here, it's had this run up, it's trading sideways. You'll get people get bored and then it will pull back. Now I would, when it has a pullback, I will go into it and then when it's around ten dollars, and hopefully it will do something.
Now, this is going to be a super spec play, but it's going to be one of those that, if it comes off, it's really going to make your portfolio. And it's it's not gonna it's not even that risky because they're already positive. So it's one you can feel good about, and one that's going to be that's not that risky. So what I would suggest is the money you were planning to give to charity put in here because it's doing good environmental work, and then the money you get back from it, then you can chuck to charity. Uh, unless you're using cherry as a tax uh, deductible, the uh, that's all from now. Except to say, uh, all credit to J Dean Investing for putting me onto it. I'll uh, have some cards at the end, which one will. One video will be suggesting a video, a recent videos you may have missed, and one will be a video YouTube will suggest. And uh, there's also, I hope you didn't miss the link to J Dean Investing, and I'll see you in the next show. Goodbye, stay safe, stay savvy, stay investing.